Hi guys, this is the Terraria Experts and Sam. Welcome back to another Terraria's Terrific World video, everyone. Welcome back, it is Terraria's Terrific World. Um, yeah, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a very, very short stream, uh, just because I've got to go to bed early, because tomorrow uh, it's early start, and so then not everyone cares. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow there's a uh, Virgin Atlantic 747 uh, going out of Manchester for the very last time. Uh, and yeah, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to do a Terraria video tonight. Uh, I was meant to do this last night, but I didn't, just because um, I was planning stuff, uh, getting things ready for tomorrow, like the gear, uh, charging things. I uh, also have unboxed my new uh, Seagate hard drive, I've bought a 5 terabyte one, like who needs that honestly? Well, I do, but for some reason the 5 terabyte one was more expensive, sorry less expensive actually, uh, than the 4 terabyte one, which is weird. Uh, and I also bought a, um, a 1 terabyte um, like portable one, just because my other one's absolutely thrashed. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, welcome back. I'm actually recovering it. Uh, it's 50% done, so that's all right. So I don't know when I get home from school tomorrow. Home from school tomorrow. So home from the airport. I'll probably continue it because I'm not doing any videos uh, throughout tomorrow day. I'll probably do a video tomorrow night. In fact, I've got Survival Island to do tomorrow night. Um, not streamed like this, but um, yeah, we game says I, I can't wait. Yeah, I know. Is the Q and A Wednesday out at all? Because I've just uploaded it. Um, if you even, yeah, I've actually done a Q and A Wednesday. I should wait until the video has been uploaded. I'm actually going to check right now if my phone's yeah, I'm on hundred percent. Um, I thought I forgot to charge my phone. Um, yeah, it's right out now. Three minutes. That's weird. As soon as I start streaming, oh, what was I? Yeah, as soon as he uploads a video on YouTube, hey, he's actually streaming on YouTube. This is a bonus. So yeah, it's all right, isn't it? That uh, streaming and. Uh, uploading videos at the same time. Literally, I started like three minutes ago, and then my Q and A Wednesday from before uploaded three minutes ago on YouTube. That's weird, that isn't it? But anyway, yeah, in Terraria, I'm doing a lot of Terraria at the moment, uh, just because I kind of need to get things done. Um, well, I, I don't really need to be in this world in this video. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but I don't really need to be here. Uh, I want to go into a new world. And start all over again. No, I'm joking. Uh, I want to, um, yeah, I've got to keep my voice down. Yeah, you're all looking forward to tomorrow. Listen to my chair. Listen to that. It's one year old and it's creaking and cracking. It's crap. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I I'm trying to find this uh, thing. It's, what is it called? Not an oblet or an a aglet. Yeah, that's it, an aglet. Um, to make uh, speedy boots or whatever, lightning boots. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to do that on this video. Uh, I've also got a little midget with me. <laughs> a little midget. Yeah, so. I don't know, that should be... Uh, yeah, it should be an interesting video overall. It's just weird tomorrow. I know I don't want to keep talking about it, because this is Terraria. Um, I, I don't know if any of you mind. Nobody says, but... Yeah, um, I need my hair cut as well. Oh, I can get it cut now. Um, everything's open today. Oh, it's ridiculous. Or was it yesterday? No, today's the second. Yeah, it's just been a long day. Uh, when two days feel like one. Or more like, sorry, when one day feels like two. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, I don't know, um, I forgot to say, yeah, um, what was I going to, I forgot what I was going to say, yeah, tomorrow there's a, yeah, 747. Uh, but yeah, I need to go into a new world, uh, to get this, uh, aglet, because we're going to fight Duke Fishron, uh, soon, hopefully, I don't know, I don't know when it'll be, um, but sooner I get to, you know, getting this stuff, you know, quicker, I'll be able to, um, you know, <laughs> Get, get get things out of the way with. Um, it's not like, I don't know, I think people are going to think, oh, is he trying to end off his series really quick? No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to get things moving. Um, because I've, I've done all this fannying about with my whole um, greenhouse and all that. I only did that to kill time. Literally, I was like, oh, I've had enough of Duke Fisher on for a, for a year. And, um, yeah, I just thought, right, okay, I'm going to build a... Um, so I thought someone was coming up the stairs. Uh, an underworld, I'm going to build a, uh, an underground house. An underworld, I've already got one. Um, but I still need to get that pixel, which I've been looking for for about two years. Um, from the uh, golem, and he's just not dropping it. So, uh, in this other world, I might bring a, um, what's it called, an amulet? A, a, a lizard amulet. Uh, I think it'll be in consumables, won't it? How do you name your chest? You can name it, can't you? Rename. Um, have I got one? No, I haven't got one. Um, yeah, in the last video I promised I'd keep all the stuff in here, just for now. But I need to go into a new world because uh, the fishing isn't working in terms of getting all this uh, stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to forget where I put that. Um, 
But yeah, tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. I'm in school tomorrow. 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 Um, and yeah. <laughs> it's funny because my business teacher, Mr. McLaughlin, he says no. Like, n uh, n no, no, he's like, no. No. Ne neo. Like, N-E-O. Neo. Like, Neo. Neo. <laughs> Hilarious. You can't help it. He's just Irish. <laughs> you can't help it if he's not speaking English. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be a weird day for me. Probably the weirdest day I've ever had because normally it's just, it, it's school and then airport. But no, tomorrow it's airport at eight o'clock in the morning. We're getting up at like half seven, so I just don't miss this because I was so I literally I was I was I was a whisker away from yeah treading on thin ice with the whole uh, Azerbaijan and you know the uh, Aeroflot. Um, which yeah, I didn't get the airflow on the camcorder. Whenever it's the camcorder, it's YSL Aviation. Um, and yeah, I've got the Azerbaijan on uh, SL Aviation. But I'm hoping tomorrow to get um, this 747. I think it's something like GV GLX or something, something like that. A uh, GVLBX, I don't know. Um, yeah, it'll be GVL. So, Golf Victor Bravo Lima X-Ray, I don't know, something like that, or X-Ray Lima, I don't know, uh, but um, I'm hoping to get it on my SL Aviation, uh, and also this channel, just so people can watch it, um, yeah, people will be able to watch it on the SL Aviation, but um, no, 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 um, the thing is, a lot of people say, well, why don't you take pictures of it, but the thing is, I've just got pictures of 747s, if it's a clear day, I could just say, oh yeah, this picture's from a... Uh, February, um, last year, and it's the last day of a 747, nobody will know, because, you know, it's kind of like identifying the crowd, like, oh yeah, I recognise that funny guy with the barnet, yeah, he was there on the, hang on, yeah, he was there on the 747 day, um, why isn't he in your picture from February, because it was from February, but I'm lying, I'm just saying, you know what I mean, it's kind of like a picture, um, it doesn't really, yeah, it's cool, but with photography, with aviation, once you've got an aeroplane, if it's livery or type, you know, that's it, you don't need to see it again. But with uh, camcording, yeah, you can kind of get more of a sense of it, because you can hear it and it might sound different every time. Um, which is mainly what I'm after, because I think the 747s just sound phenomenal. Um, and yeah, um, hopefully tomorrow it's going to be a good show. Um, I don't know if Big Jet TV is going to be there, probably not. Uh, just because I, I just don't think he'll be there. Um, Airline is live will be on it. Um, and yeah, I will be there too. So you'll have two of your fellas there tomorrow. Me and Airline is live. Um, I'm like a little baby up against Airline is live, aren't I? <laughs> Though I think I did actually have more subscribers on YouTube last time I checked, which doesn't mean anything. But um, you know, I think uh, Twitch is. Um, I know, more popular on my side, let's just say. But anyway, um, I don't, they do YouTube, I do Twitch, it's different. But um, yeah, Wii Gaming says, will this be on the camcorder? Yeah, it'll be on the camcorder. Not stream though, I'm not streaming on the camcorder. I'm, um, and if that sounds really stupid, that. Oh yeah, I'm going to be getting the 747. Also, I've got the camcorder. Oh, so he's going to be streaming on the camcorder. No, 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 no. I'm going to be streaming on my iPhone. Um, but I'm not going to be able to record it on the camcorder. As well as tilting the, you know, the tripod for the iPad, uh, for the iPhone. So you're just going to see it whiz by. Um, I'm going to try and predict the rotation position. Um, and then it will have a wing wave. Um, it's going to be a good show. Um, yeah, you'll see that on the SL Aviation. Um, as well as this. But on Friday, I'm going on Friday now, it's being clarified. Um, I'm going for the Virgin, it's basically your Virgin. Virgin 787. Um delivery from Toulouse, I don't know what's that doing there, and um, an A350-1000 going out, yeah Virgin, and um, yeah I'm going to get that on the SL Aviation too, so basically you'll see all the good videos in the SL Aviation, and all the bad videos on there, oh yeah that sounds about right, but um, or whatever it could just be a mixture of two, yeah multitasking's not great, yeah, a lot of people say oh, multitasking it's like a good thing, but I read somewhere that, um, I read, I think I've heard it, someone said, um, um, I know, it, 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 
multitasking isn't doing two things at once. It's actually doing um, neither of two jobs um, as well as you could do if you just did one at a t one at a time. If you know what I mean, you're just doing each jobs, but at the same time, so you're not, yeah, um, doing them as well as if you were singular and focused all your um, strength, your your mental strength and uh, mindfulness on one subject. Was it Sully by any chance? <laughs> I think so. Uh, claiming I read. I don't read. Bloody idiot. Uh, more like me, I would have said, oh yeah, I read it. That, um, I don't know, something were in the Amazon. Um, and, um, I don't know. Uh, no, that's got to do with Sully. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a plane crashed into the Amazon. It wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> it was only flying like. <laughs> but what people do in my area, if you ever come to the Wirral or Liverpool or whatever, you'll hear people say this. Um, um, oh yeah, I, I thought that was dead good, me. Or, yeah, I, I recommend that, me. I recommend that, me. Um, or like, oh yeah, I, I think she's... Um, I think she's not fair, me. You've already said I. Why do you have to say me at the end of it? You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> to themselves, but yeah, it's kind of a thing people do. <laughs> Jerry was torn in half by a cre a corite. Oh, lovely. Um, I thought it was by diorite. Um, but yeah. Who <laughs> again says I know? Yeah. You know what I mean, like, as well? Oh, that's terrible. But yeah, people say that, they say, um, Oh yeah, I thought that was dead good, me. Yeah, I, I, um, I, 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 yeah, I recommend it, me. I recommend it. The guy. Why are you saying me at the end of it? You've already referred to yourself being present. <laughs> so it's kind of like, but, um, when people say you know what I mean, like, you know, we're not going to get to that because that's just a, a completely different grammatical problem in the northwest of England. <laughs> Uh, but no, hopefully tomorrow's going to be a good stream. I'm going to try and make a community post, making people aware. I don't really like to, but... Um, yeah, I think last week I made three community posts. I oh, want about Doom Eternal. Oh yeah, Rage 2 as well. Uh, I suppose that wasn't a question. Um, Rage 2 I'll be doing, starting on the 8th of December. Um, or will I? Next... Maybe next Tuesday, won't it? Next, next Tuesday? Yeah, next Tuesday I'll be starting Rage 2. Um, or maybe the, yeah, maybe next Monday, sorry, yeah, next Monday would be right. Um, or, oh, oh, I don't know, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe we could do it tomorrow, hey? How about we shake hands with that? Survival Island, I know, but, um, Friday it says Doom Eternal, so I could move Survival Island to Friday. Um, and Rage 2, uh, tomorrow night, live on Twitch, but I just, I've got about... Um, 33 gigabytes left on my 4 terabyte hard drive, so I'm going to switch over to the new one, um, just to put videos on, um, but I record the videos on my computer, it's Final Cut, you see, um, I don't export the videos on Final Cut to my computer anymore, I put them on an external hard drive, just because, I don't know, um, it's right there, I don't have to put it in later and wait 5 minutes for it to, um, file share between the, the two drives, you know what I mean, the SSD and the, the hard drive, you know, it's just uh, silly. Um, so that's why I do that now, but um, yeah, be interesting. But as a, um, a hard drive gets fuller and fuller, um, the performance of it does slow down. Um, so yeah, if releasing a couple of gigabytes will do something, um, yeah, hopefully but no, I, I, I've got a 5 terabyte hard drive. Why can't I set it up? <laughs> because, I, listen, it's still in the box. I haven't even touched it. I've got a 1 terabyte hard drive. So, what's it go? I've got 6 terabytes. The whole of my YouTube channel videos have been 4 terabytes so far. 4 terabytes, 5 terabytes. Um, but the length I do, it's ridiculous. Um, he said the length I am. <laughs> the length I was until I... Got a willy reduction. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't sleep at night. Yeah. You got dormer roofs, you see. <laughs> you got dormer roofs. Sloped windows. Sloped windows. Slo sloped ceilings. But no, tomorrow's going to be interesting. I keep saying that. And will it? I don't know. Only time will tell. Well, this video can't be long. It's going to be like 25 minutes. I'm going in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I need to go into this new world. Uh, to find the aglet or whatever it's called. Uh, looking forward to Rage 2, yeah. Do. <laughs> Luke. I remember we had one called Big Tits or something. Oh, was this always the same world? Yeah. <laughs> big Tits, yeah. Hello, mate. Wee, Big Tits. <laughs> like Blue Tits. Hey, that was good. Fast and snappy. Um, yeah. Any funny stories at school? No, not at all. I fist bumped some girl's hand yesterday. Accidentally punched her in the face. Um, there's this girl called Ellie as well, and she keeps flirting with me in art. You know, as you do. Um, and then, um, I don't know, I was ignoring her, because I do that, you see. I'm, I'm like, who pretends I don't care? <laughs> when actually, really, I don't. Um, it's kind of like, I'm really happy inside, like, oh, I'm getting noticed. Or like, I'm getting some attention for once. Because, you know, in sixth form, you don't really speak to anyone. Oh, I don't, because I don't like anyone. No way you can have that many worlds. No way. Um. Well, yeah. Um. What world am I going to go into? Um. I just... Ah, oh, I can't spend that. Whole video loading up one world. Um. I've used that one. My world. I'm going to load a new one. Um. Large. Uh, what? Normal. Uh, oh, you can choose now. Oh, my God. Crimson. Create world. Let's call it world five. <laughs> no, call it Aglet. Yeah. I get a bunch of Aglets, you never know. Aglet. There you go. Takes a little while, this does. We only need to do this to find the Aglet. It's not cheating. Uh, you can do this in Terraria. Um, I remember when Stampy used to say, oh yeah, Longbow brought some sticks from his world and some blaze rods. And I just thought, this is not Terraria. You can't do that in Minecraft. So yeah, it was a, a big joke. <laughs> but like most of Stampy's videos. No, no, it was all fun, wasn't it? Not a joke. Um, yeah, anyway. I think the Lee Bear thing was a bit of a joke, but as long as you can't control your, your clients. Um... On another job, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, 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 nothing funny happened. Yeah, this girl called Ellie was um, saying, Sam, Sam, have you seen any planes? And I said, Yeah, I've seen a. I think I said that the other day about the Brazilian Latam. I said, Yeah, I've seen a couple. But before that, I was ignoring her, you see, and she's like, Sam, Sam! And she tapped me on the back. And I looked around. And you know, I was kind of looking outside, I was trying to pretend to, you know, play it cool. Um, and you know when like your eyes readjust, like, from far away? And then something literally being in your face. Saying, Sam, Sam! Yeah, my eyes had to readjust, I turned around, because she tapped me on the back, and it kind of took me a bit by surprise, you know what I mean? And, um, I was like, ugh! And as, and as I looked at her, my eyes, like, went gauzy. Like, like cross-eyed. <laughs> and they went, hello! <laughs> Honestly, she was like, oh, I'm never going to near a boy again. Jesus, so weird. Yeah, I was kind of looking outside, and then all of a sudden she was there. Looked around, did a full 360, and my eyes were like, hello. <laughs> Honestly, I looked like Pinocchio trying to look at his big nose. Oh, it was funny. Oh, uh, well, Noddy. His name was Noddy. Noddy. Uh, his name was Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I actually had a word with this lad today called Dom. In year 10. I just can't believe we're in year 10. I thought we were in year 9. Um, and uh, as I said, his behaviour is not acceptable at the moment in art because he keeps cutting out these like penis shaped um, like stencils because they've all got stencils. And, and get this, next week we're moving on to clay. I know. 
So God knows what they'll be making there. But um, yeah, have a lot of fun. And they were saying, no, oh, I'm going to make a mermaid. I know. And they said, oh, miss, can we go to Chester Zoo for a trip? You know, in these current circumstances, sure. Um, and what else? We said, oh, yeah, I've been to Disney World. And, you know, it's like childish, it is. It's like we're saying, oh, little mermaid, can I do a mermaid, miss? And they're like year 10. I know they're little year 10 girls. But, like, I know, I just thought, like, how childish. <laughs> Listening to all this rubbish. And then they started singing at the back of a class, you know, like the Christmas songs. Because Miss had a bunch of Christmas. This is art, by the way. Um, a bunch of art bunting. Art bun uh, Christmas bunting around the place. And um, I've never seen Crimson. Um, what is it? Is it Birchwood? No, it's not Birchwood. What wood is this? Barrel wood. I think you can get mahogany in this game. Yeah, you can. Mahogany. Yeah, barrel wood, yeah. Um, or boral. Yeah, boral trees. Um, and yeah. In a crimson tone. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Let me guess, they started singing Merry Christmas. Yeah, that's exactly what happened with you gaming. Um, and yeah, they um, were singing. I was at the back of the class and they started singing louder and louder and louder. I just turned around, went gauzy eyed again, just like, hang on, ladies. It's like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> me, my eyes are adjusted. I just said, I can't be doing with this. I literally just walked off and they just laughed. As you all know, I don't feel very strong towards Christmas, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I, just, I just hate Christmas music, I do. Honestly, it kind of does my head in Christmas. It, I take it or leave it, honestly. I think I'd rather leave it than take it. The only thing I could take from it is... <laughs> yeah, the roast dinner. <clears throat> and the presents, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. It's. I think as you get older, you kind of just see it for what it is. You know what I mean? But I know it's good for families to mingle. And uh, catch coronavirus. No, no. But apparently the schools are going to be shutting two weeks early. Or oh, one week early. We're going to be closing on the 11th. So that's a week on Friday. This Friday. So in about a week the schools will be closing for Christmas. And to be honest, I can see it happening. Because the teachers are like, oh, with the government's new l rules, we've got to rule them out. And we don't want, you know, we've got to have some time to separate gatherings and all that. Um, between the kids and all that, so uh, we need to like, I don't know, have Christmas early this year, or like the three week holiday instead of two. About three years ago I would have been made up, but now it's like I find school so important, um, and I get so much out of it. Um, I do enjoy going, um, not because it gives me something to do, but you know, I kind of enjoy it, um, speaking to people, um, I do look forward to it. Whenever I you know, getting ready to go to bed. I kind of like, uh, I don't know if anyone else does this, but, um, <laughs> you weirdo. Um, I kind of like take away from what I did in the day. Like, thought, yeah, at the end of the day, I can kind of feel proud that I, I said that, or I went gauzy eyes for a bit. <laughs> no, that's the, that's the thing that goes in the bin. And, um, you know, you kind of take away these things and think, oh, I'll say that again. Because, I don't know, it was quite a, a smart decision. Um, but yeah, I spoke to this little year 10 lad called Dom. And he just said, um, Oh, what do you mean? I'm being naughty in the lesson. He's like a little shit. I just said, Well, what, what, what I say? You, you, it's the same every lesson. And I actually said again, It's the same dog washed. <laughs> I said, Yeah, every lesson with you, it's the same dog washed. And you know, he kind of looked and said, What? I said, Every, every lesson with you, it's the same dog washed. And he said, What? What? Dog washed? <laughs> Dog wash. <laughs> I said, but what I mean is it's colloquialism. Um, every lesson with you, it's more of the same with behaviour and um, making these rude um, sculptures. And then he kind of just looked at me. I looked at him. He went. You know, those little scumbags can do that like little turn. They can just do that horrible look, like little smug look. And he just kind of went like that. Away. As if like, I just do not give a shit. <laughs> And yeah, I just thought, well, you know, live and learn. I can't do much about other people's problems. I think he's got an, imper an inferiority complex he must have. And, um, 
I might have just thought, well, you know. This is kind of funny. <laughs> dog wash. <laughs> is that every last number of you, it's the same dog washed. Basically saying it's more of the same. Same dog washed. <laughs> and, um, he just said dog wash. Dog wash, yeah, dog wash. And dog wash me dog. It's really not bad. <laughs> Prick boy. Um, but yeah, anyway. Not everyone understands it. Well, what's the new one as well? Um, um, hell will freeze over by the time you get your GCSE results. Yeah, that's a new one I've been saying. <laughs> God, you'll know, you'll know if you're in the same school as me, you'll hear same dog washed. It's like, oh no, it's that's very expert. So hell will freeze over by the time you win. Why is that lad cosy eyed? And there he is with his pots and paints. Miss, I'm a streak of piss. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do next? Oh. What do you think of the best? <laughs> <laughs> I don't say it's like a day with... I don't know. A Muppet? <laughs> yeah, quite literally. What happens today? Not much. Um, a bunch of these year 10... It's more of the same dog wash. 10 girls sat with me. 10 girls sat with me. Year 10 girls sat with me. Two. And I was kind of saying, um, oh yeah, you know... I'm um, I think I told you in my Q&A Wednesday, um, yeah, about the 747, I said, yeah, tomorrow I'm actually at Manchester Airport at 9 in the morning, um, um, I'm watching this, uh, final 747 departure out of Manchester, and this girl just said, oh, okay, um, what's it do? And I was like, what do you mean, what's it do? It... And then, yeah, at that point, I was, yeah, <laughs> I was like, there's no point. What's that? Is that uh, That's not titanium, is it? Iron ore, right? We've changed the look of that. Never used to look like that, did it? No, I don't think so. Yeah, we changed change the textures very subtly in Terraria, and nobody gets pissed off like we do in Minecraft. Maybe because it's 3D, you have more interaction with it in Minecraft. What does it do? It bloody flies. Yeah, it does. And I was saying, uh, yeah, it's getting scrapped. And she said, how can you scrap an aeroplane? What, put it in the bin? I was like, no. They, um, sell on the most, um, valuable parts, like the engines. And I said, yeah, the engines can sell for... A CF6 can sell for £57 million. And she said, oh, that's cool. I'm not really interested. It's more about, I don't know, being in the company of someone older than them. And I was just kind of talking, yeah, just trying to make con conversation and... And they said, oh, I don't like planes, I hate flying the planes. I said, well, why? He said, I don't like fly flying the planes as such, but I hate turbulence. I just said to her, well, you know, you're in turbulence, um, it's just like going over a bumpy road. And she agreed with that. But she said she's never been in a car. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I'm not joking. <laughs> um, have you ever been on a boat? Yeah, it's like going up and down on the waves. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I can tell you something you can go up and down on. I mean, I mean anyway, um, and yeah, then I, I'm saying, it's all about me, isn't it? All about me. Um, I'm saying, yeah, turbulence. Actually, it's not dangerous. It's not falling as such. Um, it's actually in the time um, that you've fallen, the aircraft actually moves forward an extra uh, two miles. So if anything, you actually... Every time you fall in turbulence, it's not actually really falling. It's basically just um, a slight jolt in terms of downwards, downward pressure or upward pressure, depending on the um, the pressure um, on what way um, the turbulence is affecting the aircraft. If it's up or down, will determine if you feel lighter or heavier in your seat. If you're dropping, you'll feel lighter in your seat. If you if it's uh, a wind shear that's going up, like going over Pyrenees, you'll feel heavier in your seat. Um, which, I, I've never really experienced, I think I have, it kind of feels a bit uncomfortable. It kind of feels like, um, I don't know, like, I don't know. Um, I don't know, like almost like a magnet attached to your shoes. And like, I don't know, like, you, you, you kind of, like, struggle to put your leg up a little bit more. It's a bit like that. Um, kind of going up and stuff like that. Um, 
But yeah. Um, hello. <laughs> this, this world is just desert. Look at it. It's a big world, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think they have got bigger worlds. I don't know. Talk for his chest. And uh, yeah, I was talking about turbulence and stuff like that, and saying yeah, when you, when you after you take off your level off, and uh, the change in uh, pitch can uh, make your stomach feel a bit a queasy, giddy sensation in the stomach as the airplane levels off. If you've ever been going over like a um, like a ramp, there's a place in my area near where my mate Matthew lives near a train station. Perfect example. You drive about 30 miles an hour up the ramp, and then you level off, you know what I mean? Um, your car kind of levels off to, you know, match the, um, um, the level of the road. Um, it's like an upward skirt, a bit like this. Um, it doesn't go down again, it's not a crew. <laughs> yeah, um, and yeah, as you're going up 30 miles an hour, as you level off, your stomach kind of... It's kind of like that, but a little bit more. A bit like a roller coaster. A bit like a roller coaster. Um, but yeah, it's kind of the same sensation. I would pay any money to experience my belly drop, and yeah, I know it's great, isn't it? Smart 24, hello. Um, yes, yeah, so I was just explaining to these. Um, <laughs> year 10, I did say it, I said that you are year 10, aren't you? Um, just because I was kind of thinking, oh, are you really meant to be? Sitting here with me on this bench, or is this a year nine area? It's all haywire. <laughs> so it's kind of like, oh, I don't know. Uh, but no, uh, kind of interesting talking to people about planes. I don't really care, but. <laughs> it's pretty interesting anyway. Um, yeah, first day at the RVP tomorrow, yeah, I know. It's going to be jolly fun. Jolly good day. Is that a chest? No, it's death weed. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's, it's overworld chests. Uh, this bloody stuff grows in. Um, gro grows in? I think of a death weed. Um, chests, yeah, the aglet. I've called the word aglet. You can't really get seeds in Terraria. Um, yeah, we're without mods. Right, okay, there we go. All the way up. Oh, look at that. About a week ago, you were moaning about Miss... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I know. Miss Sutton. I don't think it was a week ago, was it? I don't know. No, it wasn't, because today was Wednesday. My... I don't worry, I know my timetable. Um, oh, here we go. Um, yeah, Tuesday was oblivion. I got oblivion on Wednesday. Yeah, I know. You can yeah, get mistaken. Was that a stream? I can't remember. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a stream. Oh, where is this bloody aglet? It's funny because I've, I've seen it many times. Um, uh, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, overworld chests. Um, it, 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 um, yeah, you, you can contain them in. That wasn't meant to be a joke, yeah, a container. Mm. And now I'm looking forward to going to the airport tomorrow, uh, it's gonna be jolly good. Jolly good day. Um, I'm only there for literally an hour. I'm only gonna see the 747 and then I'm going home. Get dressed, get in the school uniform. Oh well, yeah, that's getting dressed. <laughs> getting dressed into what? <laughs> um, a clown's outfit for the day. <laughs> Um, and yeah, go to school and then, yeah. I told my, um, I told the year 10 girls before. I told the teacher, I said, yeah, don't tell anyone, but, uh, I'm going to Manchester tomorrow. I said, oh, are you skiving? I said, no, I'm not skiving. Just, uh, but I said to my, um, business studies teacher, Miss Jones, who's quite open to this sort of stuff, like, ooh. Um, you know, good in the kids and all that. Um, and, uh, yeah, like hobbies and all that, opportunities. Um, I said, yeah, I won't be uh, here tomorrow, miss, for uh, lesson one, or even on Friday. I didn't even know if I have on Friday. Um, 
And as I said, yeah, because I'm at Manchester. And she said, yep, yeah, you're at Manchester. What are you doing at Manchester? I said, Man Manchester Airport. She said, yeah, Manchester Airport. And I said, yeah, I've got a, um, a, re a recording, um, some uh, footage um, at Manchester Airport. And she just kind of looked and... I didn't really mention the 747 because that wasn't necessary, but yeah, I felt like it's yeah, talking to my English teacher about it as well. I was like, oh yeah, I won't be here on Friday morning because I'm, I will, because um, it's in the afternoon, these 350s and Dreamliners. Smart24 says, uh, it's going to be a hell of a ride tomorrow. Yeah, well, it's going to be cold as well. But it's going to be sleeting on Friday, so just prepare for whatever, whatever. <laughs> There's such thing as bad weather. But there is such a thing as bad clothing, and I know, I know that. I've learned that the hard way. When I go into school and it's a cold day, I bring in gloves. I used to mock Matthew Wilcox for bringing in a glove. A glove? We had one hand. Yeah. Oh, God. But, um... I don't know. Ooh, ooh, my stomach. Um... Yeah, um, he used to have a scarf as well, Matthew. I used to take the piss out of him, but now it's like... You know? Yeah. Um, smart lad. But with my airport trips, you know, I, I have learned that the hard way in terms of, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. This is what my digestive system looks like and smells like. <laughs> yeah, a massive hole. <laughs> Put me pizzas in. I don't know if uh, we'll get those chests here. But you get mine carts here, as you can see. I think it's a yeah, background book. I'm sure this was in Terraria when I started. Hmm. This is cool though. Oh, oh, oh. Biting dried skin off my lips. Yeah, and they lead to. I don't know what they lead to. I think they lead to like, um. Massive, um. Like caves, crystal caves, and stuff like that. Yeah, they're quite cool. Um. But yeah. Um, like sapphire caves and stuff. Yeah, there's like a big ravine. Hmm. Uh, look for chests. Yeah, there's gold everywhere, so. That's gold, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, big game, isn't it, Terraria? Yeah. This is new to me. I. I, I <laughs> all this stuff, it's uh, kind of first. kind of sightings and all that. There we go. Looks a bit better. So this will be my like experimental world. Um, just for getting all the pieces of gear. Um, yeah, you don't get this stuff from pots. You get it from um, caves. We can bring some stuff back as well. Um, in case we want to build a biome farm or whatnot. My world's got a corruption, hasn't it? Yeah. I think chivalrine icicle. It's a joke that. A sawtooth shark. Oh yeah, we don't need that rubbish. <laughs> Ori Chalcum. Something we do need. What's this block here? Sandstone block. Oh, we can build some stuff out of that. Once you collect one thing, you collect another though. The wave to Rivi. Um, there's like crimson, crimson ore in here that's given off a red glow. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going further down this way. I love these caves, do you, we gaming? Yeah, it's amazing. I like them too. Alright, the only way I can get down is just by digging. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna dig, dig, dig until we find our wig. <laughs> find our wig. Uh, oh, here we go, look at this, statues and stuff. Oh, so you can hear people laughing. An angel statue. I mean, I don't really want to, it's not really cheating. No, it's not cheating. This is a thing you do in Terraria, I know. I'm just thinking of like survival arms and stuff like that. Mushrooms. What block's that? Hardened sand block? We've got sandstone. Why do we need hardened? Um. 
in solid state. A, a mendable blade. Nah, that's novice, that. It's novice stuff, mate. Stuff for your newbies, like. Uh, these are like boobies, oh god. Come on. Avalanche, whatever. Avalanche? That's not what it's called. What are these things called? It's all new. Anilton. <laughs> what? Uh, put some torches. Things can't bloody see. Um, I don't get pissed off at dark videos. That's st something Stampy hated. Now look at this. Just flares, gold. A lot of gold. A uh, cauldron. Uh, yeah, I kind of need a cauldron. <laughs> Not for. Um, yeah, that's the flare gun. Right, okay. Nice. How, how, how far do we go? Yeah, I'm not going to find it here, am I? What's that? What's that? What's that? Um, I can always get that another day. If I know, no, no, I don't. Let me get rid of it, really. Wait, I've got my hook back. Oh no, that was my community world. Sorry. <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> Somebody commenting. I never. I, I thought you was at your hook. I don't need demon potions. I don't think. What? Yeah. What was that on the floor? I don't think it was anything. Right, okay. How could uh, I'm kind of, I'm confused and tired. <laughs> I'm Kunda. Jesus. He's just an Anton Deck. Right. Oh, come on, there's aglets. Come on. This is a hard find. We're getting deeper and deeper here, you know. It's Less and less likely. Yeah, this is hopeful. Here we are. Big area. Um, I don't know if you ever played a game called Spelunky. It reminds me of this. Uh, it's all right. It's not the best game ever. <laughs> Why am I bringing that up? Spelunky. Yeah, it's all right. What stampy player? No, I've never played. I, I don't know if I, have I played it myself. I don't know. I think I might have. I might have. <laughs> My own is. Um, I think I might have played it. Um, yeah, I can't remember honestly. <laughs> the difference between a game, a gaming video on YouTube, and then a video game that I've played. Honestly, both feel as as interactive as each other. Have you ever done that when you've been watching a game on YouTube and they've stopped? And you've actually done that with your analog stick, like move forward. Oh no, it's a game. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, not not as much at now because you know I don't really watch gaming videos on YouTube. Because all my favourite YouTube gaming YouTubers have deceased. But um, <laughs> that is the reason though. That, that not not necessarily, but I think it's a, a mixture of growing up and um, I don't know just acceptance, tolerance. Um, being older and accepting things that have more meaning to your future and things that are mature, you know, watching Stampy's Lovely World at the age of 18, I'm sure someone's doing it, but for me, I, I don't know, I'm seeing more um, perks in other areas of my life, so it's, um, you know, I don't watch it, but every now and again I like to look at Stampy's channel just to see if he's uploading videos and obviously yeah an inspiration um i don't know if you ever knew but yeah i think i have told you yeah stampy was one of my biggest inspirations um not for youtube just i don't know as a person i suppose just uh, doing minecraft and stuff i, I took um, a lot of his ideas and put them in my world and to be fair 
a lot of people did that as well. But every time you used to say to your mate, hang on, you cop that's what Stampy did, that's what Squid did. Um And you know what I mean? It's kinda like Yeah, but we've all done it, you know what I mean? We all watched his videos, we all built a love garden, we all built a rocket ship thinking we could f fly it to the moon and back. Um Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he says no one built what Squid built, <laughs> except from a Sky Island. No, I don't think I've ever built Sky Island. I have in Survival Island, but who's done the Survival Island? Nobody. Not many YouTubers did it, you know. I thought I was really cool in 2014. Like, oh yeah, I made a brand new series here, and nobody's ever done a Survival Island where you play Minecraft on an island using your bare materials. And to be honest. I've done all right. Six years later, I built a lot of things, but I've you know kind of travelled um, to land and stuff like that and explored the world. But hey, squids, um, you know, world, um, Sky Island that I did in 2015 to I think it was 2013 to 2015. I don't know. Um, lasted two years. Um, you know, he did that and he gathered materials from the earth below um, and put them on his sky island which is a good idea but I think he fell off like more times than I've ever drowned in survival island I've never drowned in survival island bear in mind I'm on an island I think I have but yeah it's been something that um, hasn't happened much <laughs> just really gave up in my q and Wednesday at the end I was like hey girl yeah, I never remember watching the first Survival Island video, no. Never do I. Uh, I don't watch me videos, especially gaming videos, I don't watch them. Probably because I have thoughts on them, like, oh, I don't like them. I edit them, and I look at them and I think, yeah, it's alright, it's not what I would watch myself, but if other people watch it, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, yeah, it has to be alright, hasn't it? But I think it's the commentary. If it was just me swinging my sword around, people would be saying, Hey, you can't be doing this. You know? You call the video, get in the aggle or whatever, and you've just done shit all. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fishman in the desert. <laughs> little grapple lock and his little m midget. <laughs> his little miglet. <laughs> like his little piglet. Oh, his balloons in his hands, swinging his terror blade around like. He's a Terraria expert. Oh, hang on. Hmm. I don't see the name. God knows. <laughs> How has I come up with that name, a Terraria expert? I think I must have thought so heavily on my my independence in Terraria and the fact that I'm just the best player on the planet. I just thought I'm gonna call my YouTube channel a Terraria expert. And I just kept it like that, and said, uh, why would I change it? What is the point? What would another one be? And what would be the meaning of it? The, the plain expert, you know? And I'll probably move on to like, I don't know, making cheese toasties or something. <laughs> uh, God, this is not very helpful, does it? Right, what's in the beyond? What's in the beyond? That's a good, uh, that could be a good song lyric. What's in the beyond? <laughs> I can see a blonde girl in the beyond. Uh, hang on, it's not a blonde girl, it's a bunch of sand in me nan's face. Ew! <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's in the me nan's bass. Oh, me nan's playing the bass. Yeah. Smack her in the face. <laughs> You have a big fat trace. <laughs> trace. <laughs> oh god. Smack her in your face with your big fat COVID case. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Smack her in the face with your big fat COVID case face. <laughs> <laughs> so what would be an Irish kiss? An Irish kiss! A Glasgow kiss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't go to Glasgow and ask for a kiss. Never do that. You'll wake up in A&E. 
Oh god, look it up Glasgow Kiss, I actually, look it up, look what we do. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. No, it is true, we do it, so greet each other. No Aglet. Hard radar. That's what I need. Text enemies around you. Um. Right. What's a soft radar then? <laughs> Uni Dan. <laughs> that happens. Yeah. Put that in there. Would you ever go to Pakistan or Iran? Um. Well, I, I think. I'd say at a moment, maybe not, but, I don't know, I think five years ago if she said that, I'd say, well, at a moment, maybe not. You know what I'm saying? It's always been a troublesome place, you know. I don't even find it in TripAdvisor. Ooh, Iran. Beautiful. It is beautiful, but with all the conflict and stuff, you know, planes can't even fly over the place with all the conflict there, so, you know, what, what, what exactly? Uh, so I wouldn't want to go, uh, really, for a holiday. Um, but yeah, that's why the joke came. I ran from Iran. Um, but um, yeah, well, somewhere I would like to go. Uh, maybe Mexico. Um, Hong Kong, maybe Japan, Seychelles. Where else? Doha. I'm gonna go to Doha. Um, I don't know. Maybe like somewhere in Arabia. Saudi! <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Seems alright. Um, I don't know really. Um, yeah. Egypt. I think the thing is with Egypt is that it's all a big triumph, if you know what I mean. You see the pyramids so many times. Once you get there, it's kind of like not as good as they claim it to be, which. Be like the Great Wall of China. Uh, the Seven Wonders in the world, honestly, they all, all you know, they, from what people have said, you know, they're quite uh, underwhelming, and you know, people said, oh yeah, I think the uh, the wall in Wales is higher than that. So yeah, look at this thumbnail. <laughs> Can't believe you actually doing raids tomorrow. Yeah, well, just to push survival line to Friday. Uh, just to even it out, so Oblivion's on Sunday. Sorry, Saturday and then Terraria again's on Sunday. Give Terraria a break. Now you think I've got an inspector in? Play Terraria. Three videos in the next week, sure. Can do that. <laughs> no problem. No problemo. Um, right, I can't find this bloody chest. Actually can't. But anyway, I think that's the end of the video anyway, so. Um, yeah. I like how I said I'd like to go to Arabia. <laughs> Honestly. When you go to the beach, any bit of sand. Not like. The top of the traffic is. What? <laughs> how would you speak? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was trying to do then. <laughs> oh god. Bob Marley there. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Everything's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't know what sounds Arabian, I don't. <laughs> I can't really speak. Yeah, different cultures of their music. China, it's all violins and um, bows, isn't it? And then um, England, it's all trumpets and uh, organs and all that. In America, it's all yeah, trumpets. Sweden, I don't know, Swedish music. Um, I imagine it's like Nordic, like. <laughs> well, I think, what's he doing? Um, yeah. Russia. I don't 
Get the migs out, yeah. Please <laughs> get your tits out, oh god. <sighs> Honolulu, what? Oh, I know. They're totally type of cuts. There's a, um. There's actually a song a bit like Lilt. I mean, uh, a drink a bit like Lilt. Um. <laughs> there's a drink a bit like Totally Tropical Taste. It's called Lilt. No, um. Yeah, it looks a bit like Lilt. It's got like the same green bottle and all that, and it's kind of got that like cloudy kind of lemonadey. Um. I don't know. Um, taste to it. Um, yeah. It's got like um, Bob Marley's face on it and like the Rastafarian colours, like the red, green, and um, yellow. And um, yeah, um, like Lil's. I've never tasted it, but it's got a pineapple on it, so I'm um, assuming it's similar taste or. It's like Caribbean, it's called Taste of Caribbean. Yeah, it's in like a fatter bottle. Never had it. Next best thing, kind of thing, you know what I mean? But like, um, be Jet TV and then airline is live, and then the Terraria expert, second best <laughs> for that's when you become second party. <laughs> you know, maybe Apple or Samsung, but when it gets to like, I don't know. Um, oh, was I about to say Nokia? No way, you don't knock Nokia. Um, Asus or Huawei, it's kind of like, oh, second hand, you know, kind of garbage. Um, yeah. As you all know, I only buy good products, guys. So I have the iWalk and... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm joking. Yeah, I've got a better one now. Uh, my sister lent it to me, and... Uh, it's alright. Uh, it charges the phone really fast. Um, but, um... Yeah, so it kind of requires me to unplug it and then recharge it up and then unplug it and then recharge it up. But tomorrow's only going to be a short stream. Honestly, I think I could do tomorrow's stream on 40% battery life. Um, I think Friday's going to be more of a challenge. Uh, just because uh, there's more airplanes on Friday, so, yeah. It's going to be sad seeing the last 747 go. I know, right, I'm in the video so I can see it. <laughs> Need to get up early. Got to get up in seven hours, so... You better run, 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 run away first. Corona is coming to you. I hope not. Well, that's the good news, everyone. If you haven't got, um... <laughs> and he said eating disabilities. <laughs> if you haven't got, um... Um... Uh, yeah, high risk or whatever. If you're not, uh, I've got, um... Health condition, or not, you know, underlying health conditions. Um, and if you're... Under 16 or over 16, and you've got no underlying health conditions, you don't need to have a vaccine. So, if you hate injections, there you go, you don't have to have it if you've got if you haven't got any underlying health conditions. God, people are going to take this wrong. Hang on, I'm fat, a beast, I've got asthma. The well, trade expert said I don't need a vaccine. In fact, he said keep eating, <laughs> said uh, <laughs> don't, don't social distance. Yeah, tell me not to wear my mask, <laughs> wear it from behind. No, 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 honestly, um, yeah, give it to all the old people first, and then, um, middle age. But I think what we need to do is not just give it to all the older people first, give it to people that are intensive care first, and then the, um, um, care homes, and then the people that are isolated, and then the rest of, kind of, a subsection that is, I don't know, um, 85 plus to, um, I'd say 64, kind of like a old age group at risk, and then, um, 64 to, um, I'd say 39, say maybe February, and then, um, 39 plus to, um, um, yeah, 16, um, well, I'd say 20 and then below 20, um, if you've got underlying health conditions, uh, yeah, give them the vaccine, but, yeah, so it's not going to be a thing where, you know, you're going to be at school one day and they're going to say, right, everyone, for your COVID vaccine today, we're going to be doing it in years, year one, year one, year um, 
seven, eight, nine, all go off to the sports centre, um, and they'll be giving you your injections, because that's what we did with tetanus. I had to have two inject, no, yeah, two injections in both arms. All right, not really a big deal. When you go to Brazil, you've got to have five or eight or something. Um, I'm all right with injections. It's funny because, um, oh well, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of think of it as like ooh, when you prick yourself when you're doing the leaves or something. It's like that. Just don't look at it. I never had blood taken, so <laughs> not really speaking here well. But um, yeah, I think when you take, I think what I can remember, you put like a little plaster over you, or like a see-through plaster. It's kind of like a um, a circle shape, and then they take the blood. Um. But it's literally for like 10 seconds, like honestly, don't... Yeah, because I know some people hate injections and all that. Honestly, I don't mind them. I think it's better when they inject than take. Um, yeah. And now, um, yeah, interesting. See, I should have done biology, because I think I've got the... Mart brain for it, but... Yeah. Because when they inject something, it's your upper arm when they take um, its um, main vein so yeah would you ever take from an artery I don't know because arteries are further in your in your body aren't they because um, uh, we did about this is there's, there's artery artery veins there's vessels um, some people call them tubes um, Arteries are main vessels. Veins are, and then there's capillary veins, which um, are kind of like very thin veins that are kind of like you know when you just um, get a paper cut or something. Yeah, it's kind of like that, like a very like top of the surface kind of vein, like something you'd see in your finger or your hand or something like that. So uh, I did about veins, but I didn't do much about bones or bone structure or. I know that it's like honeycomb on the inside of a bone structure. Like the bone marrow is like honeycomb. So, um, wait. Um, but yeah, um, that was all I did. And then the half of it was photosynthesis. Photosynthesize, I said. I was thinking too much about music and the synthesizer. Anyway, see you later. Thanks for watching. Um, see you tomorrow, Manchester. Um, I keep picking my eyebrow, I've got like a baldy eyebrow honestly. Um, I've got ulcers as well, so I don't know what I'm stressed about, but I'm sure my body will let me know. <laughs> I know before, my body warns me before I know what it is. It's like that, it's like, oh, that's what it was. Uh -huh. um, I think you're getting sick of watching the sun rise and set. See you later, see you tomorrow at Manchester at, um, if you're up. Um, 45 minutes past 8 in the morning, possibly earlier. <laughs> Possibly later. See you later. Bye.